What's going on, y'all? We're back with another video, man. So, I've been talking about this for a long time. I've been making like two videos on this on my TikTok, and I think I posted on my um on my YouTube channel. But I've been saying, bro, this Hellcat, this Hellcat shit been going on for so long, man, and it's to the point it's a fucking problem. The feds are involved. It's not even local PD no more. The feds are involved in this right now. Yeah, Miami-Dade Police Department and Homeland Security worked together to target illegal street racing. They arrested 11 people and gave out 17 citations. It's been caught on camera numerous times. Wild videos showing cars blocking traffic, spinning out of control, donuts, drifting, and super fast driving. You're putting people's life at danger. Um, if you do see, there's a lot of videos on social media uh, showing people getting hit by cars when someone's doing a donut, people falling out of cars, and this is just reckless behavior that, that won't be tolerated in Miami-Dade County. The latest race around Northeast 183rd Street and Northeast 2nd Ave this weekend. Police were also present. 11 people got caught. You have vehicles driving at a high rate of speed. It's very easy to lose control of a car and, and, and strike another vehicle, or hit someone, go into a building. I mean, a lot of bad things could happen. Among the long list of defendants, most were adults in their 20s and one juvenile. Some were the drivers doing the spinning and then fleeing once they saw police. Others were passengers who once they noticed police, they got off the car and ran away. Through social media, we were able to, to find out that this was going to happen over the weekend. So, you know, the, the police department got together and all the bureaus came together and through, through investigative means, we were able to determine what was happening. Those 11 arrested now facing reckless driving charges, fleeing from police, and driving with a suspended license. And police say if you stumble upon these scenes, just stay away and call 911. And if you hear of any events coming up, you can leave an anonymous tip at their Crime Stoppers. In Miami tonight, Christian Colon, NBC6 News. The takeovers and all that shit is over. The local PD is not even in charge anymore. They cannot deal with it. It, I'm telling you, they can't deal with it no more. So the feds are stepping in. Homeland Security is stepping in, and they're taking over the investigation. Um, it's to the point that he's leading the feds to the Hellcat swaps. All the swaps now with the with the Magnum, the Chrysler 300, the feds are all over it, man. They know the insurance company are getting sick of it. They're paying millions of dollars into um paying off them cars when somebody steal them and they have to pay them off and all that stuff and they're sick of it so they complain to the police department police department cannot take care of it so when the police department cannot take care of something who step in the federal government right the feds homeland security step into that now so all them all you boys that got all them swaps and y'all got the um the magnum swap the chrysler 300 swaps the feds all over it they know they plugging you guys in they taking them cars in they destroying them cars they seizing them cars now bro as they not playing no more games them takeovers are leading to them going to the chop shops they leading them to the people that are stealing them cars and all that stuff right um the takeovers I, i'm i'm not for the takeovers and i'm not for people stealing cars you know what i mean i'm just putting the information out the takeovers is ridiculous i think the takeovers is stupid that's not even like a part of the car community you know what i'm saying it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of craziness and it's a it's, it's just a bunch of it's just, it's just it's just stupid man you know what I'm saying? It's to the point that ambulances cannot even go through no more. And, you know, I think in my city, I think they was doing a takeover on the highway and they had an emergency and the person died. And I think that's why the Fed stepped in. It's, it's getting, it's out of control. You know what I mean? So it's leading to, um, I think in my city, they had like 65 arrests and it led to like 15 Hell, stolen Hellcats. They recover 15 stolen Hellcats. That's crazy. Let's imagine how much money um, the insurance company have to pay in into those stolen Hellcats. It's ridiculous, man. So it's sort of, it's it's not local PD no more, man. And guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna trickle down to other states, other cities, and the Feds Homeland Security. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking RICO. <laughs> it's gonna be a RICO charge, man. It's to the point that I think. It's once the feds step in, they could use all the federal guidelines to generate a RICO charge and hit those takeovers with, with RICOs and all those guys that's still in those Hellcats and hit them with RICO. I mean, 
I'm calling it now. I'm seeing it coming. It might y'all might not be doing like a crazy ass 15 years or something like that, but y'all gonna do like I could see like 18 months, 26 months. It all depends on where you fall in them charges. And I and I could see it. I could see it coming out. Rico is coming down for them takeovers, them Hellcat, um, them them stolen Hellcats. You know what I'm saying? I see a Rico coming down in the streets for that shit. It might not be a crazy charge, like I said, but I could see 18 months to 26 months rolling in for people that's in the takeovers, for people that's still in them Hellcats, for all them chop shops and all that shit. It all depends what you play in the role of that shit. So I'm just putting the information out, man. I'm just saying it's, it's to the point that the Hellcat came so far and so, you know, like, it's crazy that people will do anything for a Hellcat or a Hellcat swap. I don't understand it. Hellcat, I have a Hellcat. It was my dream car. I worked hard for my Hellcat. Um, I got it at the right time. You know, I didn't pay no markups or nothing for my car. I, I got it at the right time. And the Hellcat was my dream car. The Hellcat is not my dream car anymore. You know, I want a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini Huracan is my dream car now but all i'm saying man y'all got to be careful out there you know what i'm saying y'all does got to do the shit the right way man because once the feds get a hold of you that's it it's over with man it's over with you're not coming back from that you cannot come back from a um you cannot come back from a federal charge and once the feds pick up the case because the state cannot deal with it anymore is over with you know what i'm saying the feds are watching they're watching social media they're watching your profile the feds could hack into your profile bro they could do whatever and y'all know how the feds operate bro they wait they build a case and when they feel like they got a good case they come and get you you know what i mean so it's not like local pd if they see you they're gonna come and they messed up the investigation and the case get thrown out. That's not the feds. So the feds is building the case and they're watching your Instagram, man. They're watching your Instagram. People are getting hit by cars. People are getting killed by cars. And like I said, this whole takeover shit is leading into stolen Hellcats. Swap engines that's stolen into 300s and Magnums and all that shit is intertwined, man, with the federal investigation that's going down with them Hellcat swaps and the takeovers, man. And I'm just letting y'all know, y'all don't understand how serious this shit is. This shit is fucking serious, man. It's serious. And I'm telling y'all, a RICO charge is coming down. Be aware. I'm telling y'all right fucking now, yo. A RICO charge is coming down for them takeovers. And remember, I said that shit. And I'm telling you now, today, a RICO charge is going to come down to y'all, man. Them takeover shit, y'all got to go get a legal pizza, a, a, a legal pit somewhere and and do y'all donuts and, and slide man doing that shit in the middle of the intersection bro y'all are interfering with emergency vehicles people cannot get through and all that shit people are getting killed it's fucking dangerous bro and what do you see in the most takeovers right charges challenges mopars and shit so it's just a bad fucking name all together in the mopar community bro in the car community you know what i'm saying it's not a good look for us but hey, it is what it is right but all I'm saying, man, y'all be careful out there, bro, and be aware, and I'm just letting y'all know what is going to happen, what is coming down. i see y'all in the next video. If you